But yeah, like, what would a face hugger have to, like, impregnate, realistically, to be able to make something that maybe, just maybe, could beat Santa? It's a good question. Unfortunately, the face hugger can only impregnate the source that the host that it can fit on, so, in theory, it... Prego. In theory, it could impregnate a, a large dog, obviously an alien three, a bull, uh, an ox, a horse, possibly a horse. Um, and, and some of the toys, some of the older toy lines, it could. Um, there were there was like Ow. a xenomorph, a gorilla xenomorph, a serpent xenomorph, a God dolphin like xenomorph, yeah. um, a flying queen. That was kind of cool. Um, huh. Yeah. Those are some like of the older toy lights, lights though that never really made it to the yeah. films and was more like uh, more like arcade an arcade game or comics. Mm. There was a like expanding the universe a little even though they never hell. officially appeared. Yeah, pretty God much. damn it, let go of me. Also, it's really weird to hear the term toy line and then remember that the xenomorphs are basically based off of dick. I know! It's like, wait, <laughs> this thing has a toy line! They're selling these to kids, and oh. these films are rated R! Yeah, same thing with Robocop and Terminator. <clears throat> That's fucking awesome! <laughs> <laughs> well, they were That's gonna do something with too. Get off of me! Motherfuckers. My mom was totally <laughs> fine with buying me a Xenomorph figure, too. <laughs> I was so happy it's, to have it. Deadpool movie toys, too. Well... They were going to do it with Conan the Barbarian, but they decided not to, and that's how He-Man was born. I mean, I've heard parents take their kids to see Deadpool, and they were seven and eight years old, so, eh. Yeah. Wow, par parents just don't care anymore, and that's epic. They don't. It's, it's I just mean, I have, I, I have some limits. Like, if I have a kid, I don't think I would allow them to watch anything rated R until they were at least... Lo My husband says 13, I say 15. But I guess they're oh, fair. Oh no, that's fuck reasonable. no. You, you're gonna take that motherfucker, you're gonna sit them down when they're fucking 10 years old, you're gonna show them aliens like, this is the type of shit your mom got down to. I was shown Terminator exactly. when I was six. I was seven when I saw Terminator 2. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wow. That's the standard that you're gonna set your fucking kids up to. <laughs> no, my mom was pissed Ooh, with my right. dad. Your dad was cool as shit then. <laughs> She's like, John, don't let her watch that. He's like, shut up, woman, it's Terminator 2. <laughs> I'm not gonna tolerate this here blasphemy in my house. No, when I was 13, so, okay, I know some of my friends know this, but some may not know. Um, I hate this boss. <laughs> Xenomorphs, aliens, were like a phobia of mine when I was a kid, because when I first saw it, I was six, and the, the only thing I saw was an air jaw and teeth, so I was, I was like, um, uh, traumatized for two weeks it wasn't so i was always scared of the alien films up until i was 13 that's when alien resurrection came out and my dad went to it and he's like i asked him so what are you watching he's like resurrection and i'm out he's like uh the hell you are sit down i'm like no i'm scared of aliens shut the fuck up and sit down you're gonna get over it <laughs> that's how i got over my fear of aliens <laughs> i think you got over it that day <laughs> yes, I did. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then he well, blew my mind by saying, this is the fourth film. There's three others before it. <laughs> well, at least you weren't playing the game getting over it. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Fuck you. No, after I watched Joke's all on the you, alien I beat movies, that game. <laughs> after I watched all nice. of the alien films and, and watched all the Predator films after that, the, the first two, uh, my dad surprised me with the first Alien vs. Predator PC game. Oh, I was so happy. <laughs> and then around, flip your I believe when I, I was... tell you that they fucking have a movie based off of this. Oh. Yeah, and then around four, <laughs> when I was around sucked. fourteen, fifteen, I got Alien vs. Predator Two Gold Edition, and oh, and I played that game for fifteen years. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, I just thought about the aliens and the predators, and I took with me the knowledge the aliens are basically based on dicks. And I just thought to myself, wait, doesn't that make Predators literal vagina faces? Yes. Is that based on dicks? Yep. I well, mean, they, they are. are. They are. Oh, yeah. 
That's yeah. where their fucking head came from. I mean, let me let me educate you here on something. Geiger Geiger's artwork is always suggestive and in the window. Rest in peace. I wish he was still around. I don't love to meet him. Anyway, um, the other thing is though, not only was he he, he was best he best describes himself as a erotic vampire man. <laughs> oh my god, oh. that's that actually sounds pretty cool. Despite oh. how silly. But here's another interesting thing about Geiger. Even though he did enjoy his work, there was a dark secret behind it. And this was answered in a uh, interview he did for the news uh, reporter. The guy, the, the newscaster asked him, "Say, why do you draw these anyway? What, what, what's your motivation?" And I quote oh, from dick. Geiger, "To get them out of my head." Ah. Oh. oh. No wonder. Ah. Oh. Horrible. <laughs> No wonder the aliens uh, are such big heads. Nightmare. <laughs> he has <laughs> nightmares <laughs> about him. Yeah. That's why they have a phallic mouth that comes out of their mouth. Hey, Bliss. I guess we Is have a reason within why. A dick. Wait, hang on. Yes. I get Bliss. I guess. But... I guess. I guess we have a reason why the aliens are such dig heads. <laughs> get out. <laughs> it was not that funny the first time. It didn't need to be repeated guys, three times, man. Off. Yeah, EG, I, I don't Because like we right knew now. where it was fucking going, that's why! Pretty much, bro. It's alright! But, yeah. but EG don't try so hard. <laughs> I know. Boop! E. Now we need, like, now we need is, like, some spin-off creatures based on tits. <laughs> oh, God. Don't we have a Metroid for that? Oh, no, the wait! The, the Metroid? What? They kind of look like boobs. Oh no wait, yeah, I'm but no. Sure. Oh my I god, I love Food Wars. I hope he has fun. <laughs> I just oh, figured it out. It's the humans, because all the humans in those movies are utter tip. Apart from Arnold. Which movies? The Alien and Predator. <laughs> okay, okay. He, uh, I mean... <laughs> I mean... I mean, and I'm watching Look. Aliens, and even he kind of admits it. What he's like? Why are they doing? Why are the Why are these soldiers doing this? They're trained. Why aren't they getting the fuck out of there? Shouldn't they be running? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. Watch the film. <laughs> and he's like, like Solar be rolling. You know that. I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> he's like, I think Enjoy the best the movie. <laughs> I think the best example of what I'm talking about is in AVP2 Requiem, when the humans are just peak. I don't tip, talk about that dip. film. Yeah. I don't much care for it either, and that's one of the reasons why. There's so, there's so many problems wrong, wrong with that film, including even that limited to, yeah, the people and the characters suck. I don't give a rat's ass about any of them. Like, legit. Don't give a shit. You one ugly motherfucker. At least with Predator, that they, they, they built up their characters in a fun and productive way. The same thing with Aliens, though, some would argue it took too long, but I, I love that part of the film, so sue me. Yeah. You can find him in 30 minutes or less, asshole. I still remember, uh, there were like, yeah, there was, was like, like, there were two, so, uh, two, were two soldiers that, that I think were like a couple or something like that, and they were an event system, and he's got like a bomb attached to them, and one of them's like, you know, you really are an asshole. And <laughs> just end their lives right there. You know, asshole. Yo, did, did you like the Prometheus movie? It's okay. It's not great. It didn't blow my mind. That's the prequel, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then Alien Covenant. Um, I admit, it did okay. It. I mean, I can't keep comparing it to the first and the second one because nothing will ever top the first and second. So, I will give it this: Alien Covenant. It was definitely disturbing. Did um, Alien Covenant have a really big hench fucking alien? I think I mean... A what? Alien Covenant, they had like some big ubermorph thing. Oh my fucking god. Uh, no, not really, no, no, no. Ah. Uh. I remember telling myself, I need to watch it again. I need to watch it again. And then I fucking never do, and I figured out why. Why? I I feel too disturbed by watching the guys getting bursted. For some reason, I feel like the ante's been upped or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because watching them becoming in more and more pain makes me cringe. I don't know why. You know it's what I mean? I think it's because it's not as cheesy as the first one. 
I don't even think that's it. I mean, with the first one, that happened so fucking fast. The guy just suddenly started to convulse and then boom, burst And in. then uh, boom, oh God, there's something sticking out of his, uh, that's, 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 that, that don't go there. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, no, that don't look right. No, but with yeah, Alien Covenant... Yeah, don't look right to me, Doc. With Alien yeah. Covenant, though, you slowly see them getting sick and getting worse and worse and worse until suddenly, oh, fuck. It's watching them suffer that I think is hard, is the hard part for me. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that it, damn it. it probably is the fact that it's happening slower, so yeah. your brain has time to register fucking how hell. actually really fucked up it is. Yeah, that's probably it, and, and yeah, I haven't been able to watch it again since. Like, mm. I even bought the damn film. I've only watched it once in theaters. I haven't watched it since. <laughs> yeah, it's like, because think about it. In the old ones, it was a sudden thing. You have the explosion, and then the big worm thing comes right. out. You don't have a lot of time to focus on the fact that they just died and gave birth to a freaking alien monster because the alien monster is there, and you don't want to be in the room with it. But in the other oh, like, ones... Like it's oh, all slow and up. shit, so you have to pay attention to it. It's like, yeah. why do I have to pay attention? Why are you making me look at this? Finally! Open, I'm like, bitch, God. open the fucking door! She had more than enough time to get out, you fucking hoe. Let her out. Oh yeah, that annoys me. That annoys me in every single survival they're, they're situation. They're reasoning ever. behind that shit, and I still call bullshit. I don't care is that they can't... Uh, quote we can't afford contamination and i'm like fine she's everyone's been contaminated bitch let her out so, right? what that bitch yeah. also no uh it has nothing to do with me being empathic season because i don't sense emotions from a movie <laughs> yeah i think I, best... I, I... that'd be yeah. that'd be a whew, that'd be real fucking <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think somebody whose favorite film franchise is Alien would had, have such an interest in fucking Alien if she could sense the emotions of the characters oh, in the movie. If, oh, I could sense, right. if I could physically sense the emotions of characters from movies, I would never watch them. <laughs> By the way, yeah. back Especially, to the game. That would be a testament to them being, act, being great actors then, if they have real emotion in their acting. Well, being empathic means you have. Hello? I have to be like next to you. Sorry, Golden. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Okay, so as you can tell, I finally defeated that fucking spider. Oh uh, yeah, no, I saw. Yeah, like, I saw. Uh, you, you you resorted to the strategy that I resorted to, which was eventually okay. Fuck trying to time it. Just throw missiles up there until it fucking stops. Yeah. I tried doing that before, <laughs> that but I kept dying. Yeah, that's the fuck. That's honestly the only real way to fucking actually deal with that is to just fucking fill the air with so many missiles. One of them's gonna fucking hit. Hmm. Like I, like I said, <laughs> fuck that spider. Fuck that boss. It's fucking horseshit. Nobody likes it. It's horrible. No, the spider. Glad it's dead. The security robot, and Sarah's X, and Ridley X are the worst. Metroids are the worst. <laughs> I'd rather nice deal with accent. the Metroids than deal with a lot of these bosses. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, no. Me. Metroids are fucking easy. You just freeze them and then fucking hit them with some missiles and they're. Yeah. The annoying part oh, I is thought that that's they what they you. all were. I thought that's no. what these are. No. Nope. Oh, this what is are Metroid. They, then? This is Metroid Fusion, sister. These are parasites. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, Blizzard. I mean, technically, Metroids are also parasites, but these are a different type of parasites. These are X-parasites. <laughs> okay. The Metroids were made for the X-parasite. So, yeah, the, the, yeah, the Metroids actually feast on these parasites. 